What's up guys, Martin here, back with another tutorial and we're trying to recreate a really moody, faded, warm wedding grape. I'll show you the image he sent us actually two so if we get straight over you guys remember go give her a follow down in the description her links will be down there so let's come down and look at her images she actually sent this to me a while ago so we'll scroll down a bit as you can see plenty of warm tones quite underexposed a lot of use of um, texture overlays on some of these images we just keep coming down we'll see the image we're going to be working with this one right here and this one right here and as for settings for this shot it was at 55 millimeters 2.8 ISO 100 and a shutter of 1600 it was taken on a Sony 55 millimeter 1.8 and the camera was a Sony 7R3 so I'll flash that up on screen if I'm wrong so yeah this image and this image here so plenty of warmth there's plenty of green tones lots of grain and we're gonna have to really make that fade both in the shadows and the highlights so yeah let's get into Lightroom and if you guys like this style I'll link these directly down in the description but you can come over here otherwise click here uh, you can come over here and click presets or shop and then you guys can just come over here and have a browse of a few styles you might like i personally quite like this willow collection i think it looks really really unique those green tones but if we just work our way back to her instagram let's see if we can create something quite moody quite underexposed lots of grain lots of fade and yeah we'll get into Lightroom and just before we get into this tutorial guys I just want to let you know that I've just launched my course so if anyone wants 50% off and access to the course early you can head over down into the description and there's everything you need to know so there'll be lifetime access to the course guys once it's complete there'll be over 30 high quality tutorials for you guys you get all my raw photos to follow along and yeah head over there check out the video the number one thing you need to know when learning photo editing down in the description and you guys will get a good taste of all the value in this course it's going to be the best photo editing course in the world so check it out guys and let's get into this tutorial okay getting into this edit so as you can see we need lots of warmth to the shot so I'm just going to chuck up the warmth real roughly let's go with 7000 let's brighten our image obviously just to get it to a good starting point now the goal is obviously to get a bright uh, pretty dreamy look so we need to take out the shadows and um, we want also a flat look so we need to do that in the curves so just before I do the curves I'm gonna take out heaps of contrast because when you work with the curves you'll do an S curve and that will add in lots of contrast into the image so firstly I'm gonna drop the contrast and just remember you normally wouldn't do this in the edit normally you would have you'd use the the curves in your presets but I'm going through the complete process for you guys so I'm going to drop the contrast before I do the curves and then I'll explain the curves after I've done them.
Okay, so that's curves done and I'll just show you what I've done in them. So I just did um, a nice curve here, obviously a real fade to the blacks and the whites. Now, you might be like, why did you drop this white point? Now, this is what gives that fade to the brights. So watch what happens when I lift this back up and back down. You can see those bright areas become uh, less bright there they have a flatness to them and then the mid tones of the mid tones get a little brighter because you're lifting up this area of the curve when you pull down the white point so that's why they become a little brighter and I know to do that because um, I, I can just notice the flatness in the highlights or the whites and beginners might not be able to see that but another way to show you guys is if I get their image up where I'm editing at the moment and you look in the histogram you can see that the whites here are quite far from the edge here and if we get our image back up so just keep a remember what their histogram looks like and we get ours back up so if I bring this white point back up you can see how our whites are very close to the edge there and we just want to pull them back a bit a bit further back so that's how I can just see the flatness in the whites but that's just another way to show you guys and then there's a real softness to the um, the darker areas so I lifted the black point up quite a bit and then you just got to make sure you put a shadow point there otherwise your image gets a bit too flat so just keep that there a slight S curve and then the red green and blue channels uh, it's just a typical S curve, but I'm just using uh, some curves I have from my presets. I wouldn't go do this every single time. So once you get some curves you like, just use them for every image and then do slight tweaks. Some will put more contrast in the shadows. So uh, I think this one's a good all round one. Slight bump to the mid-tones. But yeah, just a typical S curve there. That'll work pretty good on all images. Okay. Let's come up and let's fine tune a few more things up here. So let's start with bringing back up the contrast. We probably went a little too low with that. Um, so you can see maybe our highlights could come down. The shadows could come up again. And keep blacks down a little to keep some contrast um, I will put a, a filter on top of them to brighten the subjects very shortly so she's gone for a really dreamy look there's very little sharpness so I'm gonna drop the clarity just a touch and see how that creates quite a haze to the image I sort of don't want to do that much. I think it's better if we maybe add in because add in some dehaze rather than dropping the clarity heaps because clarity will affect the texture of the image as well where dehaze, dehaze wouldn't affect the texture but it will add a haze. So I might just do a little bit of that. Now um, sharpness, really dreamy look. We, our image is much, much sharper. Let's drop the texture a lot for this one. Okay, right. Let's keep going. Okay, let's move on to some I'll just drop the vibrance real quickly uh, let's move on to some split turning so this is where we're gonna mainly get our colors here so we obviously want really warm tones so I'm thinking putting uh, a nice yellow in the highlights so you can really see that at the moment we're very blue up there and you can see it throughout the whole image so highlights I'm gonna grab a nice orange 
drag that up. And then as for the shadows, pretty much the same, maybe a slightly darker orange. Sort of how you get the richness down in the, in the rocks there. And we get a bit more richness of skin tones in that there. Um, so yeah, our image is much, much warmer now from doing that split toning. So I think that looks really good. Let's um, mess with some saturation because we're too saturated. Let's drop the oranges so you can see their skin tones. Pretty desaturated there. Um, yellows can come down. What we need to do probably is, probably what I should have done right at the start is enable profile corrections. Um, let's keep going. Uh, so we've got a little bit of greens down here on the bottom. Let's drop that a bit. Before we go any further, I might just do a radial filter. I've got all my filters already placed for the purpose of these tutorials for you guys, just to speed things up. So we've got one right on our subjects here in the middle. And what I want to do is just slightly bring up exposure. Okay, let's run with that. So this is slightly brighter now. Um, and maybe slightly brighter now and if we come all the way down let's look at some grain so this will add a nice texture to the image let's run with that okay so vignetting I might put a little bit of a vignette but what they might have done is just brighten the middle with a filter so it's hard to tell if it's done with a vignette or um, they've used a filter like we have, but we'll just do a bit of both. So just a slight vignette there. I'll lift up the highlights here so that will keep the vignette away from affecting the bright areas, which is really handy. I like having that up. Let's just put a slight vignette there. Okay, if we come all the way up to white balance I think we're looking a little purple like she has quite a few green tones um, through her images so I'm just gonna drop the tint just about there it's looking pretty good all right let's just come back to HSL let's fine-tune our colors this is pretty much the last place I go to and it's just to really fine tune everything. So there's reds, I'm looking at her lips, could be a little more orange. Oranges, so the skin tones. Uh, we want a few more pinks in the skin tones. So let's shift them towards red. And that will make them pink. Yellows. So back there, I think they're looking pretty orange. I shift that way, they go pretty green, but we want we want them to be quite a bit more orange. So let's go in this direction, warmer, warmer yellows. And then as for greens, the only greens we've got is like down here. And they seem to hold their greens a bit, so let's go this direction. Okay, um, down to saturation, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's come down to luminance. So luminance is the brightness of colors or the deepness of colors. So 
if you want real deep rich skin tones you can try dropping illuminance of oranges that's very very common but in this one we've got quite bright skin tones so you can definitely tell um, just by looking at it let's bring that up a bit uh, let's bring up the luminance of the yellows because we want a bright quite vibrant image a dreamy look so let's just bring up the luminance of the yellows a bit and let's drop greens maybe so just going back by the little bit of green down there um, hard to tell because we got so such a little amount of greens in the image and I think we are looking pretty good there uh, let's do some more brushes and filters like that let's come up here I've already placed some so what I wanted to do is just brighten the neck of our subjects it can get quite dark under there so if we just hit this if you just press O you, it will show you where your brush is affecting and all I want to do for this one is I just want a bit of exposure so I'll press O to get rid of it see what we're doing just brighten it okay and then I just want more, one more brush bringing out her hair like just add a bit of contrast to the area just to make her hair stand out a bit more some saturation to make it stand out a bit more and I think that looks pretty good okay about happy with this edit guys and what I want to do is just right click copy settings and I've got another image of hers so I just want to select everything it's gonna be cut off from the recording some of it pretty much everything except for brushes and lens corrections and stuff like that transform otherwise select everything else copy Come down here and we have another image of hers here and if I just chuck over the reference image we have right here and if we just right click paste settings I'm pretty much applying a preset of the other photo so um, contrast and stuff were pretty close but we obviously need a lot more of these greeny yellow tones throughout the image so I'm just gonna chuck down contrast it reduce the warmth quite a bit and with that um, right let's mess with some of these we want to brighten them a bit so let's up the shadows a bit and the highlights can um, highlights can maybe stay about there we're about good um, so if we look at the histogram in our one so here's our histogram here we are pretty far let's chuck up the histogram they are a bit further along to the right in this histogram so that's what we're gonna do in our one and we're gonna do that by using the curve so let's go back to ours and see the how our histogram is sort of pushed over to the left a bit more I'm gonna do that by adjusting the curves a bit we don't want to be so flat up in the in the um, whites and that so if we just come over to our curves here let's not drop our white points so much and then see how our histogram slides over a lot so let's just make a few adjustments here um, flatness maybe a bit more I want to keep these bits nice and bright so what I might do is just maybe up them there we sort of don't want to be able to see any detail here like if I bring it down you can sort of see detail 
of the here and the light there we sort of don't want that so we're just going to adjust the brightness to sort of like match up the amount of detail we can see and we know a histogram is pretty close to Okay, um, right, so we'll go and go on to colors. So first place I might start is split toning. I just do a little bit in split toning. So what we'll do is we'll add in more greens into the highlights. At the moment we're too purple. So let's go for a bit more of a yellow. Yellow is closer to green. So over here, see how that, we want a few more of these tones. So we're gonna settle for about there and maybe a bit more of it. And the shadows, I want to keep some nice warmth in the shadows still. So I'm going to shift that to a bit more of a red. Just keep that there. Right. So maybe hues is a good idea. Let's just get our skin tones a bit more of a red maybe. Uh, nah, I think we're about good. Might come back to them. Right, okay, so we want to take out lots of purples in this image still, and I'm going to do most of that by adjusting the curves, because the reason I want to do it in the curves is because we've got so much yellow and blue and green up here in the whites, and you can that would only be achievable with the curves. Split toning wouldn't, wouldn't be powerful enough to put that amount of color in that selected sec section, and curves allows you to really have a lot of control so what i'm going to do is like take take out bits of red in that from the curves here um right so i'm going to start with a red curve and what i'm going to do is just okay so before and after just took out a little bit of red there from the highlights I'm going to do the same in the midtones so if I just play with the midtones you can see the area it's affecting it's pretty much affecting our entire subjects a little bit of shadows a little bit of highlights as well so I'm just going to probably drop this a little so we don't have so many reds slash purples in there So there's the before I move the curve. After just took out a few of those reds, but I want to keep some reds. I moved it down in this direction and not just this direction because I want to keep a few reds in the shadows. I want to keep a few reds in this area because this area is the is more shadows, and I want to keep some rich tones in there. I want to keep those darker skin tones. I want them to have a bit more red to them. Yeah, as you can see, this point here, it's a bit more of all of the midtones and a few highlights. So if we just come down here, this point, I just want to add in a tiny bit of red to keep that richness in the shadows. So um, that's about our red curve done, I reckon. Um, let's move on to the blue curve because I want to add in lots of warmth now. So really you'll be going back and forth, back and forth between the red and blue curve. But um, yeah, I sort of know what I'm doing. So I should be able to get it straight away. So I want to like pull blue out of the whites up here 
and as you can see that adds in its opposite color yellow so we want nice warmth up there so i'm just going to pull that down a bit okay just okay so there's a before and after just a tiny bit just subtle um and the highlights I maybe want to take out a bit more see how we get those yellow tones if I pull blues out okay and we want to do the same in the mid tones let's bring some warmth in see how that brings that nice warmth in but if we didn't keep those reds in the shadow in the shadows like we just did before would just would look way too yellow we need to we need to balance all the colors we need to keep a few reds in there otherwise it just wouldn't look quite right down here let's do some down here So we're looking pretty good. We need to crop this actually. Let's um, four by five. Right. So let's come down to HSL. Like the skin tones, I think the oranges, they just need to be a little more like reddish. So let's shift them across. Uh, they might have been good where they were. Let's roll with that. Um, yellows. So yellows is pretty much just affecting her hair there. They may be getting a little too orange. Let's go with that. Um, let's drop the saturation of those yellows. So you can see the yellows pretty much only affects her hair and we don't want that too saturated let's bring that down quite a bit reds so the lips and stuff pretty much just the lips uh, reds deepness I might deepen the reds a wee bit And the skin tone, I reckon I'm going to deepen it a bit. You can see how we, um, especially like in the brighter areas, we sort of just don't hold much color and richness in ours. But if we drop the luminance of the oranges slightly, we sort of get a bit more richness to our skin tones. So we'll drop that a bit. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's come back up here and let's just fine tune some of the exposure sliders here. So. Um, I think our highlights, let's go with that there. Shadows, we are good. Whites, I want a slight more of a pop. I want to keep like these areas here nice and bright. That's quite a nice, that's quite a really, that's a really nice look as well. Really bringing down the whites and highlights for the style quite like that but we've got this like nice brightness there so let's bring them up um, we don't want too much contrast in the blacks okay and this shot is extra, extra dreamy, like the edit. So I'm gonna drop the clarity. See how that just makes it kind of dreamy. Okay, we are looking pretty good. Okay, so we also want to darken like the mid-tones kinda. So we just look a little too bright. Like if I'm looking here at the here and stuff, I think 
we just look bright especially like over here we just want to make it a bit darker in the mid tones so i'm gonna bring down maybe this point here see how like it kind of just takes out that pop from the mid tones and we're gonna bring it down a bit because i want to emphasize the shadows a wee bit bring them down a bit pretty good there guys um, let's hit our reset reset so there's our before and after pretty close there nice soft contrast nice skin tones nice everything I think that looks really good um, one thing might be um, taking out some color from their dress so like some people might think might not think of this but like their shirt holds a lot of blue in it so just dropping that a bit or bringing it up I think it looks okay there but yeah I'll just leave it there guys okay thanks for watching guys hope you like that one hope you learned something go down into the description and you guys go give her a follow down there over on Instagram check out her presets if you like her style the moody quite underexposed flat a few greens in there lots of texture with grains and things like that go down there check out her presets and yeah uh, that's about it guys comment down below who you guys want to see and anyone interested in the course go down in the description there's a video the number one thing you guys need to know when learning photo editing and yeah you guys will get access to the private facebook group and um, i'm working on a discount for uh, my presets who whoever joins the course and yeah that's about it guys uh, everything you need to know is down in the description and i will catch you guys in the next one but make sure you comment down in the description people you want to see if you want to comment people that don't have many followers but have amazing images comment them down below i'll reach out to them on instagram i'll get them to send the image and i'll do a tutorial on them and yeah that's about it guys catch you in the next one